Hello friends, welcome to Bhulti Books with Anjali. Today we are going to read a very interesting story, Annual Haircut Day once again. This story is written by Rohini Nilkani, illustrated by Angie and Rupesh and the book has been published by Pratham Books. This story revolves around a family of Sringeri, Srinivas and Parvati. Parvati, look at this calendar, shouted Sringeri Srinivas, the banana farmer. I have made a promise to my gods, I must cut my hairs on this annual haircut day. Well, don't ask me, Parvati Amma declared. You know, I have so much extra work now. There is the cooking and the cleaning and the farm work. I also have to teach the children. Today, I have no time to cut such long hair. Why should I need you? Asked Shringeri, puzzled. As usual, I will go to Bhimanna, the barber. Oh, suddenly he remembered. Bhimanna's shop was closed. It was because of the COVID-19 pandemic. There was a lockdown everywhere. Neighbor Shivana's family was in quarantine. His uncle had caught the disease. The village, the country and in fact the whole world was troubled because of one little virus named SARS-CoV-2. The virus was dangerous. Many people had become sick. Very, very sick. Shringeri Srinivas peeped out from his gate. The main road of the village was quiet. He could see the closed barber shop in the distance. Out came Shringeri's famous throne. Hmm, he growled. Am I going to let one tiny little virus prevent me from keeping my promise to my gods? Never. You hear me? He turned to the children who had scuttled away. Never. He picked up his phone and called Bhimanna. How are you my friend? You know it is my annual haircut day today. Can you help me like you did last year? In a kind voice, Bhimanna replied, Shingeriana, you know I can't help you this time. Not until the lockdown is lifted. It is dangerous for both of us. Also, I want to obey the law. Please find another way. What shall I do? Nobody will help me. Even the tiger can't help me now, wailed Shringeri. Suddenly, little Uma stepped up bravely to her angry father. Appa, until the lockdown is over, why don't you try a new hairstyle? We will help you. Soon the children had crowded around their father. Shiva checked the internet to find ways to stay here. Shankri pulled out a chair, a comb and a mirror. Little Uma found some pins and ribbons. The children had a jolly time styling Shringeri's long thick hairs into many many shapes. Even their mother helped. She was happy to see her husband so relaxed. On his annual haircut day, it was the best time the family had enjoyed since the lockdown. Idea, idea, I have an idea, shouted Shringeri, jumping out of his chair. All the combs and pins and ribbons went flying about. Shringeri Srinivas stormed out of his house and out of the farm gate, right onto the village street. His family followed him. One by one. Devare, my gods, he said, waving his hands at the sky. I have an idea. Shringeri Srinivas was so loud that all the villagers peeped out of their homes. Youngsters came out wearing masks. The cows ambled up. The monkeys swung by. The birds flew closer. The dogs pricked up their ears. After so many weeks, something was happening in the village. Everyone was curious. 
Devari, I had made a promise to you that I would cut my hair on this auspicious day every year and I have kept my promise even on that day when the tiger had to help me. But now because of this, this virus virus, I can't get a good haircut. Shringeri explained to his gods. So Devari, I am making a new promise. Until our scientists find a cure for this illness, I will not cut my hair. Even if it becomes as long as the as a king cobra in my cousin's village, even if it becomes as long as as Amasari Shankari picked up helpfully. Yes, even then I will not cut my hair. Not until our scientists succeed and I will make a donation to help them too. Shringeri swore, putting his hand to his heart. The whole village roared in approval. Somebody picked up a drum. Bairappa began to sing. The little children began to dance. They tried their best to stay apart because of the pesky virus. Soon the news spread far and wide. Shringeri Srinivas was doing a special penance for the health of his village and of the world. People already loved the SS farm's banana halwa. They already dotted on the Lakshmi cow that went meow. Even the lockdown lifted a little. They now also came to see Shringeri Srinivas' long amazing hairs. Many villagers were inspired to grow their own hair too. I hope our scientists find a cure soon, prayed Parvati Amma standing outside the village temple. I really hope so too, whispered Bhim Anna, the barber. Hope you like the video. Links for more such videos are in the description. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.